Hey guys, it's Lizzie here. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create this warm plum smoky eye using all drugstore brands. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, then please keep watching. Thank you. So I've already put concealer and powder on my eyes. As you can see, they're a completely different colors on my face. Uh, now I'm gonna go in with this caramel color, well, more terracotta color from the Sleek's Ultra Matte Palette and uh, just run that through the crease. So I chose this colour because we're going to be having plum tones on the eyelid. This is um, so it's quite a warm red undertone to it, so it will help blend that out quite well. So you're just looking to blend out the top edge of that. Don't worry about what's happening on the eyelid. Now I'm going to use a colour from the Makeup Revolutions palette, which is called Give Them Nightmares. I'm going to take this purpley plum shade in the top corner. Just taking that on a flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to press that all over the eyelid. And then back to the Sleek's Ultra Matte Palette, I'm going to take this dark plum shade. You only really need a small amount of that, we're just going to run that through the crease in between those two colours and blend them together. And then go back to your first crease brush and just blend that colour out as it is a little bit darker. So now we've taken the colour quite low down here, we will be removing that later. So you're just looking for a nice transition. Now to neat up the edges, I've just put some concealer each side and I'm just going to press that in place, dragging my brush lightly up and out. And you'll see it just gradually will remove it. I'm sorry about that, the camera just cut out, so I decided to finish the other eye and finish my face makeup too, um, but I'll talk you through that in a bit. So I'm just taking that dark matte purple colour underneath the eye leaving the inner tear duct blank. Make sure you join it up on the outside corner to the top. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take this pink shade from the Sleek's highlighting palette. I think it complements the purple quite well. I also took Frostbite from NYX, which is a white with a pink and green dual chrome. I'm going to pat that over the top. So I use that same pink highlighter on my cheeks and as you can see it just gives a nice sort of wet highlight. Next I'm going to take Kat Von D's Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper and I'm going to do a really thin line and a tiny flick at the end. On my brows I used Makeup Revolution's Arch and Shape and then NYX Tinted Brow Gel on top in dark brown. Next what I'm going to do is curl my lashes and then apply H&M's High and Mighty Mascara. So you can really see the difference there what mascara makes to your eyes. It really helps lift them and open them up. Um, it just makes you look a bit more wide awake. Now on the lips I'm just going to keep it simple and use this lip crayon from uh, New Look. It doesn't have a name, it's a soft pink shade. So there we go guys, that's the makeup look complete. So all those brands are cruelty free um, and they're all from the drugstore so it's a reasonably cheap look to recreate and you can really mix it up. Um, those palettes have nice blue tones and green tones so you could do a smoky eye with any of those. You know, certain colours really complement eye colours. So purple in particular is great if you have green eyes because they're contrasting and will help bring them out. And then coppery, warm, orange sort of tones are really great for blue eyes. And then for those with brown eyes, purple is really lovely too, so it will help bring out the colour in that. So um, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the videos that I release, and um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, bye bye.